I am the athletic director and I'm also a PE teacher, um, the PE lead. This is my 25th year as a nurse. Um, I originally started out in the emergency department. Last year I joined Cabarrus Health Alliance where I started with the school nurse team and we opened Roberta Road. At the times that we experience now, we have a lot of children with chronic illnesses and just because they're at school, the the care shouldn't stop. We're not just here to take care of like their immediate need, but also outsource it. So if they need those resources, we can help guide them. It was a good day. Ironically, it was the last day of sports for the entire year. We had had a cookout that day for staff. So we had all um, enjoyed each other's company for lunch. We had a home baseball game and volleyball game that was gonna take place here. I wasn't super busy in the office. Very exciting stress relief day, knowing that I was about to, things were about to be a lot easier. But it had been a, a pretty great day. I had uh, taken my health class into the auxiliary gym and we were just playing, we were playing basketball. I guess around 250, 255, like I started to see these very bright lights in my eyes. Like, it's almost like fireworks were going off, something that I had never um, experienced before, but I chalked it up to dehydration or whatever it may be. No breathing, no pulse, nothing. Uh, I had fallen out in this hallway right here, stumbled out of the hallway and fell and was found by a couple of our coaches and, um, and from there, the call went into the nurse and the rest of the school and then emergency action kind of took place. Pierce was um, unconscious laying in the hallway. It was very evident that he was um, he's clearly unresponsive, he's lifeless and he needs um, immediate uh, resuscitation efforts. So I start doing chest compressions. I had already, um, instructed someone to call 911. Then I had instructed someone to go um, get the AED. Once we had that on, we had the AED um, hooked up and everything, we uh, waited for it to analyze the rhythm. It literally felt like an eternity. Um, that was, at that moment, was probably the worst moment of the entire situation. I woke up for probably 30 seconds in an ambulance. He actually um, was, asking for his wife. I think once I got loaded onto the, to the ambulance, I regained consciousness. He said, um, where's Cameron? And I said, she's coming. Oh, we called her. And he's like, I need Cameron. And I said, she's coming. We, we, she's coming. I could hear our nurse's voice in the front seat. And I just kept telling that we called Cameron. And he's like, I love Cameron. <laughs> and I'm like, I know you love Cameron. <laughs> and after that, I don't remember anything else until literally being in the emergency room. Um, wife and mother-in-law greeted me in there and I was told that I had a heart attack um, and told I had cardiac arrest. Since then, I've tested positive for a very rare syndrome called Brugada syndrome. It's a recessive gene that I formed on my own. So that has been an underlying health issue my entire life that, that nobody knew about until now. It's um, uh, something that I would have never have expected that would happen here at school. Um, hopefully it never happens again. <laughs> uh, I am thankful that uh, I was here to um, assist in the matter. The, the odds were not in favor for Pierce. He is truly a miracle. I'm so thankful that he's still here and um, that he gets to live each and every day with his wife and his two little girls. Nurse Gribbins I have been close the entire year. She's always been somebody that I've talked to, leaned on, joked with, had fun with. Uh, and now like, you know, it's, now we're kind of bonded for life. So she's been awesome. She's the best. Everybody here at the school loves her and she's really like taking us under her wing to like help make sure that we're okay in this crisis. Um, so since then it's only heightened and uh, I, I mean, I can't say enough, she saved my life.